Hello to all my guys, girls, gays, days, and everybody in between. Welcome to the She Elite Showcase. I am your hostess with the mostest, the shaman of She Elite, the hardest working woman in podcasting, Miss Katie Kinsey Bay Bay. Bay Bay. Joining me, of course, this way, my lovely co host. It's still kind of blurry. It's kind of bothering me. But... That's all right. You gonna fix it or do you want me to do it? No, just go for it. Go for it. <clears throat> The Young Bucks Nation sensation, the fire breathe on the Rowoods family, eating the spice of life, the sassiest senorita that I know, the hangman Adam Page. He did not return. Whittle Adam Cole, baby. He didnn't return, Katie. I thought I thought because they were in Virginia, they would go, you would come back. Hey, they're, bait, still, the, they're still rampage. The bait didn't work. They're still Rampage. It's already paid. Dude, if he returns that Rampage, I'm going to be pissed because I don't watch Rampage. Maybe that's how they get him to yeah, that's how they get people to move. You don't put some goddamn respect on Rampage. It's not always that bad. No, I just, I'm busy on Fridays. I just, that's, it has nothing to do with, oh, it sucks. I, uh, why do you guys see a Savannah? No, 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 no. Since I didn't get to finish it. Yeah, I know, right? Because they started bitching. Uh, we started with uh, Savannah, my dear. It's don't Wednesday ask. night. Like, don't ask. Me, Katie. Don't ask. <laughs> I don't, don't I ask. Don't ask. It's Wednesday night. We're here. I'm half queer. Let's fucking do this. And you know, I'm like, half asleep. Savannah's <laughs> half asleep. But we have to do the show. show but it's so... it's six one nine day. It's June. Exactly. Exactly. And I did this on purpose, guys. I, I told Katie to. Yeah, actually, it was a whole ploy. Uh, she tricked me. Snacks were involved, and I love snacks. Uh, you know, it was a whole thing. But you know, we're here. We're getting it done. We got a we got a show to talk about. We got some news and rumors. Yes. Uh, I'm gonna save all the plugging for the end because make y'all bitches wait. And also, you should know what we have. What we doing? Twitch, YouTube, subscribe to both places. Do it if you love us. Thanks. Great. Anyways, new women's. Tag team champions. Alba Fire, Lila Dawn. I was at tears. Listen, I, I don't care what anybody says. I did not expect them to win in Scotland. I'm going to be 100% honest because I was like, they do people dirty all the goddamn time. They did Piper dirty. They did Drew's ass dirty as hell. Like, I, I wasn't really expecting it. But when they won, I cried tears. I was very happy. They didn't get the tag I, brain they deserved because Rhonda's bitch ass. She's gone though. It's okay. She's gone. She but, can't hurt you anymore. Well, PTSD. She can't hurt me anymore, but like she's still there. Just like in the back of my mind. Just like a twitch every now and then, if you will. I hate it. I hate her. And like Alba, like Alba Fires had a rough few weeks. Her mom sadly passed away uh, on the end of May. My voice cracked for some reason. Um, she's been having a rough time, and this was this was a, g- a good thing. Like they were in front of their families. Let it happen. People who are mad, fuck off. Also, everyone complaining about the quote unquote botches. That top rope was loose as all hell. Like, the ref even said it in the first match to AJ. And that's why so many people fucked up on the top. Everyone needs to relax. It was the ropes fault. It was the ropes fault. Cut the ropes pay. Tell him to take a week off. Tell the rope he doesn't get to work here anymore, you know? Uh, But this one, I know, is going to tickle Savannah's fancy a little bit. Dude, it tickled my fancy a fucking lot. I know exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> At Destination on July 13th, which is the same day as the Marigold Destiny show, I realized after the fact, uh, for the promotion Noah, Alan, Uncle, Uncle Alan, Alan going to Noah. AJ Styles, you gotta say in a southern accent, AJ Styles, uh, well, I'm gonna... Look, I'm gonna I have a little AJ right here. She's got a little AJ. I'm gonna do my best on the name. Naomichi Marufuji. I think I did pretty well. Uh, they will be having a match at, like I said, Destination 
<laughs> uh, for the promotion of uh, next month. Uncle Allen, AJ Styles, said, You can't keep me down, Cody Rhodes. I may have quit, but I'm still here. And he's going to Japan, which means Luke Gallows and Anderson are probably going with him. I hope they don't, dude. Let Allen be on his own. <laughs> she said, I'll give a fuck about them. Leave him alone. Bro, AJ is does not need them. If they need him, if anything. Ooh, hot dig. It's not hot dig is the fucking truth. Oh. Oh. She said, let me let me spit real quick. I'll actually spit. I'm literally wearing my AJ Styles PJs. I am phenomenal. And then you can see the little logo. It like his it always looks like P, like PJ, not AJ. Yeah, I, I see that, but well, they they're are AJ PJs. APJs? Yeah. APA? <laughs> yes. uh, anyways, I'll go home. Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, so I knew as soon as I saw that Savannah would be having a ball in the day. She's so happy. Yes. That's was- for Savannah. That was all for you. I know. And, you know, some of the guys were excited to see that, too. So I'm like, dude, we should actually, like, watch it live together, like, at the Border Plex. See, I don't care how fucking late it is. Well, we'll I'll pay for it, even. I'll pay for that pay-per-view. Like, let's said, I'll cough up the money. I'll cough exactly. up the money. Exactly. We'll see. I'm just excited right now. Maybe I will. <laughs> she said, we'll see. I said, we'll see. <laughs> We okay, so like we gotta talk about Monday. Okay, you watched Raw, correct? Okay, I just want to make sure before I like start going here. The Wyatt Six. That shit was beautiful, Katie. That ending was. It has been teased for um about a month or so, give or take a little longer. QR, QR codes. codes. Little glitches uh, in the TV, like in the between matches or backstage segments, like all the things. They've been they've been all dangling the that things. they've been dangling the Wyatts like over us, you know. Like oh, yes. coming is coming. Uh we knew we knew it'd be Uncle Howdy. Uh so we got to see that come to fruition at the end of Monday Night Raw. Oh, and it was so with good. Mind you, um, at Clash of the Castle, there was a, a thingy that popped up on the screen, a little glitchy thing, that said that there would be a massacre. Oh, boy. Howdy, well, how did they mean it? They got my boy Gable. Bro, Gable got, got a bullet in his head. Someone shot Gable. Someone shot Chad Gable. Has anyone they seen FTR Gable? Gun or Glock Anderson? Glock Anderson's no longer in the AEW. So. the revolver and the bald one are on the loose somewhere, and someone's got to get them. Fear the revolver, man. Fear the revolver. I'm just like, it just looked like a straight bullet hole, well, that's why. It did. The wide six. Taylor's version. God damn it. Taylor's version. Hey, Jesus, we laughed at it. I saw your tweet earlier. Somebody <laughs> laughed at it. We did. Um, They got Gable. They got goon. They got, got goon. Um, possibly Braun Strowman. Everyone thinks it's Triple H. I'm like Triple H wouldn't take his shirt off, and he doesn't have a tattoo right there. Uh, people think Dragonov got hit. It like, was kind of hard to tell some of the people. Like Gable, obviously, because you know it's up close and personal. Gable was the and, forefront. Yeah. Yeah, but uh, everyone else deserve it. People <laughs> deserved it. Dang. No, Mello said it wasn't him. He asked if everybody was dead. He's lying. No, I'm just kidding. Noah was like, no, that ain't me. Is everyone dead? <laughs> uh, they got them all, but we got to see um, Abby the Witch, Nikki Cross, Mercy the Buzzard, uh, Dexter Loomis, who Indy apparently wants a divorce. She was tweeting about it. Ooh, dang. She didn't want to join them? Uh, hell, no, they murdered people. Savannah. Bro, I mean, no. okay, you know what? Okay, fine, fine. Uh, Huskis the pig boy is Joe Gacy. Uh, Ramblin' Rabbit is Eric Rowan with a nice touch to uh, Brody Lee uh, with the hammer and the mask. Uh, and then Taylor Rotunda. Everyone believe in Bo Dallas. 
is our uncle howdy and everyone's like oh who's the sixth member what's the sixth member uh people speculating that it is just the memory of bray that'd be that's i like that that's a nice touch uh, yeah like uh if you see like how i put it up at the top why it, like how i put white six that's how people are kind of doing it because it's like six but not actual six members it's it's very interesting the bludgeon brothers yes the bludgeon brothers him and eric rowan and Brody lee speculating is key there yeah like i said speculation be running wild we don't know uh brother we don't know we're not i think it's not a bad idea like having just like the light be the sixth person or that doesn't even have to be six people we've just all assumed the fireflies kind of like how like the seattle seahawks they're they're the fans are the 12th man like that like the fireflies like could be like the sixth member you know because you know when people pay tribute to bray wyatt with like you know by singing he's got the whole world in his hands and then like with the freaking with the phones you know oh which jay <laughs> Jay Uso went on Raw Talk after, which the fact that y'all had a Raw Talk after people were murdered backstage is insane. Uh, he was like, yeah, uh, y'all can keep the fireflies. I don't want them anymore. I don't want the smoke. <laughs> he understands. Dang. He gets it. He's like, I don't want I don't want no trouble. Uh, I don't want the fireflies anymore. Y'all can have them. Uh, I did it for my boy Bray, but like, y'all can have them back. I was like, that's fair. He understands. He don't want, he don't want it. He doesn't want to get a he jump. That's why he walked through the crowd. He didn't go back through a gorilla. He said, I'm going to go with my ass this way. Um, Matt said, I always thought the Wyatt Six would be six men working for Bray, not including Bray. They could eventually throw a six person in there. Or six people. Maybe it's Alexa. It could be Alexa. Could be... I think I had somebody else in mind, but now I forget. Strowman could probably turn turn sides and join them at some point. Yeah. <clears throat> I mean, that's... I know everyone hates this phrase, and I do most of the time. Let it play out. We'll see what happens. <laughs> and my interest is fucking peaked. You murder a bunch of people backstage, you got me hooked. Just... The way they, I don't know, like, every single time, like, with Bray's return and, like, with, like, mm-hmm. the season of Howdy, like, dude, it's always so good. Like, it's, like, five minutes I, long, but those five minutes go by pretty quick. It doesn't feel like five minutes because of how well it's executed. Oh, like, yeah. You just get, like, the chills, but good in a good way. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. I was I was sitting on my TV waiting, and then I was like, <gasps> they got my boy, my mm-hmm. son, my boy. <laughs> I, I, I when when the lights went out, I turned my lights off so I could watch in the dark. Oh, uh, I just like I just hyper focused on it, so like nothing existed beyond my TV. I just I just wanted to turn it off because like you know what? I was like I gotta do this for reals. I gotta live it. Just gotta live it. Gotta live it, bruv. It was it was really dope. Um, Matt's gonna be at SmackDown on Friday, so I kind of hope they do another little match. Yeah. Maybe see what happens. Fuck around a little. See who gets attacked there. And then maybe we can start connecting dots. Like the fucking whiteboard and the red strings. Like we all gotta become conspiracy theorists. Sammy Zayn has a history of being a conspiracy theorist. Maybe we should Dang. Be- Fuck Sammy Zayn. <laughs> Dang. Wow. Uh, she hard effed it. It should have been Gable. I'll say it until I'm. Gable's got away. other issues now, Katie. Gable is now a ghost. So. He's ghost Gable, yeah. I don't know. He's got a qualifying match next week. What the fuck are we going to do about that? He's going to show up with a bullet with a bandage over it. God damn it. Um, Matt said, I am. He had it coming since the first Mania. Now. We got to do all that. Anyways, uh, last thing I brought up, Brody. Reebok is going to be making a shoe in honor of Brody Lee. The colors are going to be like a black and like a deep purple. Uh, This is, I mean, obviously the Young Bucks just had a collaboration with Reebok. uh, What, like a month ago? Not even? Yeah, like not not even a month ago. Like later this month would be like... Yeah, so like, 
this is obviously going to be like a, a continued partnership that they're going to probably do. Uh, I have no issue with it being a, a remembrance of Brody. The shoes look really nice. I probably won't buy them because I don't buy shoes really. But I'm about it. Nice. if you do, send me pictures because they look like they I definitely will. Um, I was going <laughs> to say something that I forgot. I don't know. Was that all you had? That's all I had. Really? I so probably... Really? I, something, I else been, happened, something else happened on Raw. Oh, whoa. Oh! Seth is back! Seth She had me shook. I cannot lie. I was like, ah! Doug yeah. Dimadome! Back! <laughs> yes, Look and like, he still has hair. I know it's something yeah, everyone people everyone can chill. It everyone was like, losing their minds when they saw that one picture going around. The one picture of him at the fucking Kentucky Derby with his wife. They're like, oh my god, Seth gave his fucking hair. No, he didn't. Joe, he put it up. Hi. In a high bun. He's classy. Yeah. And, uh, Seth Ray Rollins back in business. Coming for the title that he I mean he lost, but like he created uh, you can't wait. That's gonna be at Money in the Bank. That's in two weeks, folks. Already, bro. I feel like time goes by too fast. Time the real. That's why. That is true. Time the real. Time, time the real. Hell no. Um. Ah. But yes, that is all I have now. Yes, now that is all I have. To. <laughs> now that is all. Uh, today in women's wrestling history, today of course, six one nine Juneteenth, June nineteenth, Slammiversary twenty twenty two, uh, it was Impact now known as TNA. We had Rosemary and Taya Valkyrie defeating Madison and Tennille Dashwood, formerly known as Emma, okay. uh, to win the Knockouts Tag Team Titles. Shout out. And then, in the first ever Queen of the Mountain match, which is basically a ladder match from my basic understanding of everything, uh, Jordan Grace defeated Chelsea. Oh, I'm sorry, Chelsea Green. I was say, you gotta say it right. <laughs> I know. I, I, I corrected myself. Uh, Deanna Perrazzo, Mia Yim, or Mi Chin, whatever you want to call her, uh, and Tasha Steeles, who was the champion, to become the Knockouts champion. Which I remember seeing clips from that match, and goddamn, I remember seeing clips too. I was like, "Dang!" So this is what a women's division looks like—a good women's division. Hey, NXT's cooking. That is true, but I mean, like you know, for a while it was just TNA or Impact. Oh yeah, for the longest, for the longest, it was just Impact, TNA, whatever you want to call it. And then we kind of we kind of cooked a little bit on main roster. And then, kind of, but then they kind of drop the ball. It, and then they kind of drop the ball, and then NXT's been cooking. AW is attempting to cook. They're something. trying, bro. They're trying. It's like the stove when it's not. If you have a gas stove and it's like not working, it's making the little. Like, <laughs> yes, exactly. Yeah. That's what AW's trying to do, but to no avail so far. I know that too well, and I am triggered. <laughs> yeah, to no avail. They're to no goddamn avail. It's like they hate us or something. I just, remember, I I will never get over TK's fucking words. It's gonna be almost a year, right? Because it was an, it was the all in. Um, it was, was the all in. All, well, I think it was the all in. Um, all in or all out? One of those two. One of the bullshit back to back weekend pay per views, where he said he couldn't add another women's match because it would have tarnished or tainted or messed up his precious card. Fuck that shit. I will never forgive him or forget that. I mean, he. I just I, Anyways, Tony Khan, put the pencil down, go home, get some bitches, and then we'll talk. Anyways, uh, wrestlers of the week. I believe it is my turn to go. First. It is your turn. Uh, I'm gonna be honest. There was not a whole hell of a lot of tag team wrestling again this week. There wasn't. I don't know what the fuck's going on. We used to have tag wrestling like 
eight times a week. Then we hit it like once. I don't know what's going on here. Um, but they just won against your boys. Oh, hello, Will. Ola. They did Ola. beat my boys. I was like, oh. um, that's what I thought Hangman would might come back, but no. Hey, there's still time. No. Okay. Flooding Guts is next month. You got time. Bro, are you? You got time. Holding my picture. Oh, but the acclaimed. Everybody loves the acclaimed. No, everybody loves Anthony Bowens. Next caster. Ain't nobody like you. <laughs> like, Okada said, I don't want to hear this man talk and muted his shit. Thank As you, he Okada. Thank you so much, sir. Have you seen Okada's new shirt? <laughs> Uh, the, the designs they be having, I it's like the, uh, it's the fact that it just looks like yeah they just spit that out and then like all right let's call it a day. But I just like that it's a shut up bitches. <laughs> I, I like that. I just I mean it's funny, but like they just went Ugh! on a shirt and said da da. They they've been doing that a lot where they just put words. So I'm like bro, I don't want just words. <laughs> On my freaking t-shirt. Like, I'm going to, hold on. I'm going to, um, pressing tees right now. But yeah, it's just, like, words. I'm like, dude, why? Like, you could, you can't think of anything better? Hold on. Yeah, clearly not. Anyways, um, that, was that your only tag team? Oh, uh, that was my only tag team, yeah. Okay. I honestly thought you would have gone with our new women's tag team champions, who is what I went with. But I was like, I think I'm going to have the same one as Katie, but I guess not. I forgot that that... Like, the week has been so long, I forgot that happened on That's Saturday. fair. But yeah, um, Unholy Union, new champs, to get, hopefully to get the, the long, lengthy, deserved title run that they, um, that they Sorry. should have had, you know, like a couple years ago, but. If they don't, Paul Quebec, I'm knocking on your door and I'm snatching your pencil. Dang, she's gonna take the pencil from his ear. <laughs> I'm taking, I'm taking the pencil. And I'm shoving it up his nose. Dang, you hear that, Paul Quebec? But yeah, they're they're my only tag team. Again, like Katie said, there wasn't that much tag team wrestling. Not much tag team wrestling this week, and that's okay. Uh, my famales, my woman's. I have one uh, successfully defending her newly won North American Women's title. Uh, against me, Jen, and hell of a fuck match. Uh, baby girl Kalani Jordan. Uh, she's just so precious. I love that there's like this atmosphere now in NXT where it's another title for the women to like scratch and claw after. And she's awarding Sol Ruka the next title opportunity. And I was like, hell fucking yeah, you are. Okay. Hell yeah, you are. I won't call on you to have a nice little rain, but like I wouldn't be down if someone put one. I'm just saying. I just feel like the first rain should be a little bit longer. Like I should oh, be a it longer should. rain. It should. Uh, but like Ariana Grace is once a piece of it. Stevie Turner. Uh, who else was back there? Izzy Dame. All the bitches. Did it start doing open challenges? The she John could. Cena I was going to say, she could pull a Cena, do open challenges. And then John Cena answered, and I'm just kidding. Well, what's up, Jalen? It's late for you, buddy. It's a little late. But no, I appreciate it. 9 p.m., bro. I'm like, I should not be this tired at 9 p.m. But. Yeah, it's 11 in the I future. I know. It's in the future. In the, we are living in the future. In the future. All right. Uh, <laughs> all right. For my womanses, I have dose um i have i think she was my pick last week also eo sky mm -hmm. um but this time around she qualified for money in the bank and i'm like all right she was a winner last year you know now she has the opportunity to be a back-to-back -back winner you know good mm -hmm. for you eo let's see let's see and then my second pick is chris statlander she beat nyla rose in a match pretty good match tonight so you know and i love seeing the ladies you know, it's kind of surprising to see the ladies on AEW at this point, so I'll no, check what I can get. But even then, it was still a good match, so. Yeah. Also, shout out to Nyla Rose for being a menace on Twitter and actually getting the chance to show up on TV because Tony Khan let her. You know, right? Who would have thunk? What's time? 
Also, I got beef with uh, the Owen Cup. These brackets. Two things. One, why in the fuck is J E double F J A double R E double T in the fucking thing? And who is the wild card? Maybe it's Hangman. Could be the most hung Hangman in the business. (laughs) <laughs> most hung hangman. Uh, it yeah. could be. I don't even know who it could be. I just. I don't want to jump. You have a roster of so many people, and you. You put don't Jeff need a Jared wild card. In, you put Jeff Jarrett in this fucking thing. Do you want me to watch your show? <laughs> Apparently not. If it ends up being Chris Jericho, throw the whole tournament away. I'm just saying that now. I'm just saying that on record. You heard Katie here first. You heard here first. She lead exclusive. If Jericho's in the fucking thing, put it in the trash. Why do you got against the learning tree? You I'm gonna learn? cut the tree down. You don't want to learn it in my campfire. Wow, you want to be a onceler to the learning tree, Katie? I'm gonna be the onceler to the learning tree. That's not very nice. Listen, I'm usually the Lorax, but in Chris Jericho's case, I'm the once Dang. Dang. Everybody needs a need. Great movie, by the way. Fantastic. In the brackets, I'm just trying to see. Um. Uh, it's uh, Brian and Shingo Takagi at Forbidden Door. Uh, Tupac. Uh, no, Tupac was tonight. Uh, uh, Jay White. And Ray Phoenix, and then Jeff and Jared, and bro, the wild card event. If it's Hangman, and you better fucking win, bro. You better not lose to J E double F J A double R E double T. There you go. You got it. I read it. I read it off the bracket. She said J E double F. Is that the A double R? Is Savannah serious? He says. Matt says. Oh what? Um, you said some things. Honestly, I'm just like at this point, like, like yeah, I still like Jericho, but like I don't care anymore. Like, oh, you know, he's it's just Jericho. Yeah, she can't defend even that with her. Oh, bias. I just, I'm just kind of indifferent about it. I'm just like whatever. Like, I'm not like oh, I absolutely, I'm not like Katie where she's gonna go one slur on it, but I'm not gonna like defend it. I'm just, I'm just cut the tree down. I'm just cut the tree. Katie. It's going in the thing. It's going in the the thing. Um, Everybody the the shredder. Oh, okay. Guess that. Everybody. <laughs> Savannah, come to the light, please. Bro, when I die, I will. Savannah. <laughs> God. Anyways, my man's is I have to dose uh, qualifying to become Yeet in the Bank. Yes. Che Uso. Yeet wins. in the Bank. Bro, imagine, if it, imagine if it wins Money in the Bank. That custom briefcase is going to look cool. I'm just going to say yeet on it. I love custom briefcases. So do I. That should be I a new thing. Like, I, I mean, hey, Damien Priest nailed it with his senior. Money in the Bank. And the yeah. purple briefcase. Like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah. Jay Uso won in the main event before everybody got massacred backstage. Uh, and then, in a Kind of shocking turn of events that I was not expecting. Pac defeats Claudio Casignoli to advance in the Owen Cup. Holy shit. That's the cooking. That's the cooking. That's not the... (laughs) No, that's not that. No, no, that was not that. That's stirring. It's like like flambe, you know, that's that put the freaking alcohol in the... No, yeah, that's not how much... Yeah. Um, I was, he pinned him, and I said, oh, no way, out loud, to myself. I actually, I, guess, I was like, oh, like, oh, like, oh, again, the kind of a shocking turn of events. I was honestly, I honestly thought Claudio was going to win. I'm not mad that Pac won, but I was like, oh, no, no, I'm ecstatic that Pac won. Pac like, for what? Perfect. Give him a goddamn win, for fuck's sake. Like, right? Before his travel issues return. Seriously, man's got travel beef, like. I know. I'm like, I want to know what his beef with, like, freaking customs is or something. I don't know what's going on. Mm-hmm. 
It's like one of the most legendary feuds in wrestling. It, it's Hawk insane. And it's in travel issues. Yeah, literally. It's like Alexa and her uh, luggage versus I know, right? any airline ever. <laughs> Terrible times. Uh, Savannah, who are you, Manzas? I have Dose also. Katie. What? We talked about this last week. We were joking about it, bro. See him, Phil screwed over my boy through, and he quit because of it. He's still my fucking pick. I don't care if he quit. Drew's still my pick. He should have fucking won. He was so He pulled Dave. He said, I quit. As he should have. I'm with Drew. I stand with Drew. Oh, in front of his hometown crowd. Oh, my. I was, but listen. That crowd was, <laughs> oh, my God. Like, they all creamed their pants at the same time for Drew McIntyre. As they should have, and they went and ruined it. CM it, Punk is the bane of Drew McIntyre's existence. But like the blow off is gonna be so nice when it happens between the two of them. Dude, uh, this is me wishful thinking. Obviously, you know how I feel about ahead, CM Phil. Please. But because everyone, I, I I agree. Like I know he didn't. He quit. You know, I think he's actually still. He's actually. He didn't actually quit. But. Yeah. Everyone's like, oh, this is just going to, you know, it's all going to come to an end. It's all going to come full circle moment at um, SummerSlam. I, I heard that. Like, oh, it's SummerSlam. That's when it's all going to come together. Okay. Okay. I would love for Drew to get his, like, revenge by, like, squash and punk out. Like, just, like, a, a clay, one Claymore is all it takes. It's like, uh, like maybe, like, a Glasgow oh, kiss first. Oh, wow. Like, just, you know... Just kick, like you know, I don't know if like just I don't think squashing him like oh you know no offense at all. I just think like like one or two moves and that's it. So that way you can set up for another match in the future, you know. Oh, okay, I but, I, but right. also that's his way to like get revenge on Punk. Even if like even if it's like a low blow, you know, like it's all some shady shit. You know, a low blow, give him like a claymore, and then that's it. Like. Listen, uh, Drew needs know, to avenge himself, bro. You gotta. I give WWE props for that camera shot of the ref running, and we just see the back of the ref. I give them props for that shit because I was like, I like it's like in the moment I was like, see, Phil's not gonna ruin this. No way. I, when I saw it, I was like. <laughs> and then he did the exact same pose Drew did. Posing over the grave, holding up the two, smirking like an asshole. And I, I love it. Like, this is, no. it's on site for these two. And I love that. I love this buildup, I'm not going to lie. But I'm just like. People think that Drew's going to just randomly show up and beat the shit out of Punk on Friday because they're in Chicago. I think that would be too soon. I think it'd be too soon also. Like, he just quit, you know? I mean. He, he, can't he, have, might have, he might have just quit Monday Night Raw. We don't know. No, no, no. But I mean, like, if you quit, maybe that's true. You could use that loophole, like, oh, he didn't, he didn't quit SmackDown, he quit Raw. But, like, I feel like, it, I think it should build up, you know? Like, again, I really yeah, think that, like, should. I think you should commit to the quitting, you know? Yeah. But you said you had two, so if the Drew is one, who's your other? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I got so sidetracked by Drew. <sighs> Drew. Drew. Drew McIntyre. My second one is the Rat Bastard. He beat Rouge in his return match. Good match. Good shit. He's back. Yeah. You know, good stuff. But really, he it was. Something. But, oh man, Drew. Spent his shroud about Drew. Drew losing in Scotland. That was. You need to like, leave. That was me to fuck. <laughs> <laughs> that was me to fuck. You need to leave. <laughs> wow. By your actions have and then me and then me to Drew. He needs some milk. <laughs> Bro, I think it was Michael Cole who said it's cars at Clash on Monday Night Raw. I was like, damn, but true. Because last year at Clash he got fucked over by Solo Skoa debuting. And then this year he got screwed over by yeah. Phil. I'm looking at the Drew merge. I forgot, I didn't realize they came out with so much more. And he looks so dope. 
Yeah, see, WWE merch, they know what they're doing. Shout out to my guy. Yeah, this is I, dope. I, I need to get another Drew shirt. I have, um, unfortunately, my newest one was like one when he had like around the time when he won the championship for the first time, the world championship, but it got Pandemic. damaged. It got bleached, <laughs> bleach damage. So I had to, I got rid of it, but I still have my like not original shirt, but like one of the, my first Drew McIntyre shirt when he was in NXT, like, he was a heel, oh. big, when he was like a heel yeah. wiggler, that was I know that was an NXT, but like his big his early days on the main roster, it's like that mm. shirt. I still love that shirt. I still wear it to the gym, but I need a new Drew shirt. I need to show my respect for my guy, Justice for Drew. Justice for Drew. Yes. Sir. <laughs> You're so fair, Katie. Hey, hey, I don't, I don't. As as we have learned, I don't make the rules. Paul Quebec, just, how's your days, bro? He tried I'll to get he tried to get Drew to come back and he did a horrible attempt at trying to make him stay. I'm like the meme the pathetic. That was I me. I was just like I, she had me shook. I was like, oh he he just what? said he gone. Oh, okay. But now like as upset as I I know it's storyline, but KFA wise, as upset as I was, I was like, as you should, Drew, you should fucking quit. I fucking quit too, bro. I mean justice. I get screwed over in my hometown. It's no, it's just hands being thrown. I'm not quitting. I'm raising all the hell. Nobody's safe. Maybe that's why. No, see, that's why Drew left. He knew the massacre was coming. He said, "I gotta get the fuck out of here." Yeah, you know, Drew's the smartest one on the roster. Drew. <laughs> And I know, I know you're I mean, just staying for punk right now, but the video of him like running when he's like in the when he's trapped in headquarters and he's like looking back. Someone was like the SmackDown roster after watching the massacre on Night Raw, and then it's like punk running and like getting faster. Man. I want up, Jess. What's up, Justin? I want to meet uh, you. Like I just want to. I want to just tell him, bro. I screwed over my guy. I already texted him saying, don't come to school tomorrow. <laughs> oh, Damn. my God. That's hey. up. God damn it. Oh, oh. Cries God. in America. You literally. Cries in American Ooh. education system. Factual. Yeah. Shout out, shout out to American school systems. <laughs> Just kidding. They fucking suck. Um, all right. Let's get to this question of the week. Savannah, I got a question for you before we get to the question of the week. Uh-oh, what? It's only bad. It's only bad. I promise. Cross my heart. Uh, what is your opinion on Legos? Legos. Um. Okay. I mean, personally, I like them, but I wouldn't... I'm not a collector. I wouldn't, like, honestly, I just... It's kind of like the same thing with Minecraft. Like, I like Minecraft. And I'll play Minecraft, but it's not something I could dedicate a lot of time to. I can't just sit there and put Legos together for hours. I just can't do that. I could do nail art for hours, which is, I know, also weird. But, like, I just can't sit there and put Legos together. I just, I just, I would probably give up. I'd be like, yeah, I can't do this. Well, what if there were wrestling Legos? Okay. All right, all right. I, I, I'd, be, I'd be on board. Okay. Like, yes. do you want me to come up with concepts? Like, what? Exactly. Like, that's, okay, that's exactly all right. Already, a few off the top of my head already. It would be cool, like young bucks, like the like the thumbtack shoe. That'd be kind of cool. Okay. A thumbtack, thumbtack shoe. Um, a money in the bank briefcase. That'd be kind of cool. If it could open, that'd be fucking cool. Money, money in the, the bank, bank briefcase the Lego would be dope as fuck. And you gotta make it life size too. It's gonna be big. Oh yeah, for sure. They're not little, some little, little bullshit thing. I, mean, I want like a big ad, like it, like basically the money in the bank briefcase in Lego. You know what? For my boy Drew, his sword. Oh, the sword of Gryffindor. Yeah. Drew's sword. What did he, he name it? I don't remember, bro. <laughs> um, I remember. Maybe, uh, I think uh, one of the belts, obviously, I feel like, or like the undisputed title, maybe, you know? I feel like that's a, kind of a given. A title yeah. belt. Mm. I think it would be cute, because, you know, sometimes they do, like, <clears throat> like sets or scenes. I think if they did like iconic scenes in wrestling, like um I know what you're talking about. Okay. The bar the barber shop I, set. No, 
My first thought, Piper's Pit, like the set of Piper's Pit. That was okay. Like, we're 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 cooking. That was we're the first thing I thought of when you said like settings. I'm like, oh, Piper's Pit, that'd be so cool. Because you like, can have a little just, coconut. You can have little Lego Roddy Piper with a coconut. Like, and that'd be, and like that's the thing. Like, um, you know what I would oh. be. Oh. Dude, a non-Lego collab is called Stack Down. How did I not know this? And I kind of want to look it up after this. Um, we'll be looking it up. Swift scenario, I would create Lego form. Hmm. For I'm sorry, Dean Ambrose, but um, the Ambrose Asylum with Mitch, you know, and Jericho's there, you know. With Mitch, I feel like just like a like a steel cage in general would be cool to like build. That would be cool. very tedious, but very fun steel cage all right um i'm trying to think what else the dynamite mm-hmm. diamond that'd be kind of cool oh a junk oh the ring yeah 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 <laughs> uh, dynamite not j-e-double-f-j-a-double-r-e-double-t's guitar no is that a no <laughs> no no okay no, okay. <laughs> okay um uh, oh undertaker's urn Oh, that'd be pretty dope. Okay. You could actually put stuff in it if you want. Imagine putting ashes in that urn. That's the way to go. <laughs> that's like, that's like if you if you're like if you're a wrestling fan who's like a Lego person, I, I mean Yeah, 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 yeah. Um Oh, just sent me a picture of uh Oh, I feel like I do remember seeing these. Yeah. Oh, it's Bad News Barrett, but in Stack Down, fake Legos. Oh, that's dope. Thanks, Jess. Ooh, another cool scene. Um, Shawn Michaels, his WrestleMania 12 entrance. That'd be pretty cool. Oh, is that the zip line? Yeah. The zip line would be fun. Even if it works, bro, like you can actually zip line the little Lego, Shawn. Yeah, attach a little Lego. Just- yeah. So fun. Um, I'm trying to think what else, what else, what else, what else, what else. Um, um hmm. I like had an idea for what. Wyatt's lantern. That'd be pretty dope. Oh, the lantern. Uh, just that hell in the cell. Yes, and you like you should be able to like open the top and like break the top but it like still like connects yeah war games Ooh, war games. it has to come with a willow with a william regal it has to come with it has william to come regal. with a william regal of course war games. War games. that's literally that's all you have to say william say like oh, like the peter griffin oh he said it he said it <laughs> he said it i find myself doing that all the time um <laughs> Trying to, think. trying to think of like iconic scenes. Cash like, Wheeler's gun. <laughs> Ooh, Naomi's glow title with the light. That would be dope. That would be so cool. And like it works. Like, I mean, they have Legos that like it's a piano and it the piano works. Like we can make lights. Like, one's a Polaroid camera and you can take pictures and it prints. Like she's whack. I love Legos. I wish I had money and space to collect them. Uh, I would want to see a Miss TV set. That's more for me, though. A Miss TV set? Welcome to the most fancy WWE talk show in history. Welcome to Miss TV. Um, said Taker buried alive. I, Taker just in general's little Lego would be so cute. Um, <laughs> what? <laughs> You know what, to be fair, I'm pretty sure you like the spot anyway. Um, I was going to say Darby Allen with the bus, like it from from Double or Nothing. Oh, you get to build the bus and then hit Darby with it? Yeah, that'd be fun. Because at first I thought that, like, the glass spot from Revolution, but then I thought of the bus. I was like, oh, you can build the bus! You can build the bus and run the Legos over with it. That would be fun. That comes with a little Darby, and you can switch the head from like Darby to Bloody Darby. Oh my god, it's like good job. Darby would talk. probably <laughs> love that. I think Darby would love that. I'm just saying. He probably would. He 100 would. 
I think it'd be cute. Because like, I just picture like all of these with like the little like like little Legos of wrestlers and like how adorable they would all look. Yeah, no, oh, they'd be so cute. And they have scarves. I need a Kenny one, bro. I need to come up with something for Kenny. Um, I'm like, let me look at it real quick. She sent me like a gander here. Like. Oh, just said the double or nothing set with the huge dice. Okay. Or even the giant chips, bro. Put Kenny through the little chips. Oh, the ch- the chips, the dice, the giant playing cards they had at the pandemic one. Double or nothing sets are usually really cool. Uh, or the huge chip. Yep, there we go. Um, Hangman. I mean, you can always put him on a little horse. Aww. Build the horse. Build the rope. <laughs> Hey man, needs to come back with that rope, bro. If he's gonna be healed, gotta bring back the rope. Savannah's determined to bring him back with a rope. I miss him. His first figure had the rope. Oh, I understand. Um, um I don't think it's something for the women. Ooh, okay, okay. Well, before you think we think of something for the women, um, it would be cool to see in uh, New Japan like the G one stuff. You know, like the the um the trophy, the banner, um. I'm, I miss the briefcase. Like, like, that set would be cool, you know? You could have little confetti. Mm. Yeah, so cool. Okay, but something for the women, the women's. Um, I think. Asuka's mm. mask, maybe? Ooh, Asuka's mask could be really cool. Mm. Oh, what about Lily the doll? And then it moves on its own. No, if that thing started moving, I'm breaking it. <laughs> and then it builds itself back together. Oh, I'm calling, I'm calling the cops. I'm burning it down. And then I'm it kills the house. cops. <laughs> I will burn my house to the ground and make sure it's in there. Okay. Lily the doll, that's a good one. Uh, I'm trying to think. Oh my god, how did we not think about this? The Firefly Funhouse set. Dude, that would be like the most tedious Lego, but like so fun. Yeah. You could have all like the little like the little puppets like Abby the Witch and Oh yeah. Lego fit comes with press conference back. Hell yeah, bro. I would ask for a little Kenny and a little Chris Jericho because oh my god, I will never forget their backstage conference. Jericho throws a whole ass table at Kenny and then Kenny falls off the little stage. It's so funny. <laughs> it's one of my favorite clips. Hardy's compound would be the most tedious thing in the body. Dang! Ever. That would be cool too. That or even like the, um, the WWE headquarters money in the bank. Oh yeah. I actually liked that. I really liked that. The whole It was a cinematic match. I honestly, I have like a little like, I like the cinematic matches if they're done right, done well. Mm-hmm. But I like the Money in the Bank one, the whole, like, you know, you got to get at the top of the roof, you know, start at the bottom. Yeah, and then Baron Corbin started yeeting bitches off the fucking roof. He killed <laughs> Aleister Black and Rey Mysterio. Well, that's why Aleister, Aleister Black is now Malachi Black, and he's totally immortal, bro. That's why he could, you know, give people with the Black Mist. and I guess so. He's, he's immortal, man, and Baron Corbin just showed that he's... That's another one, too. Um, Baron Corbin being depressed Corbin. Bum-ass Baron Corbin. <laughs> That'd be funny. Uh, like, I just think... have one. What the fuck was I going to say? John <laughs> Cena's title? Oh, my God, the spinner. Oh, my God, that'd be so cool. I would just display it. And just spin it every once in a while. Just look at it. Yeah, and it actually spins. It actually spins. Oh, I was gonna say, um, Taker's Chopper when he was American Badass Taker. Damn. Okay. Yeah. We, dude, you know what'd be cool? You could make a whole ass collection, a Stone Cold collection of all the shit he's driven. The Zamboni, like the crane that blew up the DX Express, right? That's what it was called, the bus. Yeah. Yeah, the DX Express. Um, the cement truck. Yeah. Um, Kurt Angle's milk truck. Yes, exactly. Stuff like that. The beer truck. Yeah. Those would be so iconic. There you go. Yes. Dude, the Boneyard match. 
Um, you could do. You can recreate the meme, the meme that even non wrestling fans use. Oh, I you love that meme. meme as a wrestler. When non wrestling fans, you're a known meme to the non wrestling fans. Oh, hell yeah. Oh, um, it's because you brought up Stone Cold. And then we brought up the milk truck. Oh, fuck, what was I going to say? Um, damn it, I had one. And now I can't remember. Oh, Eddie Guerrero's Low Rider. Oh, that'd be dope. I, I'd fucks with that. And it, like, moves. That'd be cool. Imagine it's, like, remote control. Like, oh, my God, it'd be so fun. Barbershop is the first thing I said, ironically enough. Yeah. <laughs> and, I, and I said, with the rockers. I said Piper's Pit. That was my first one. I said Piper's Pit. But we were on the same wavelength. Yes. Talk shows. Um, talk shows. Oh, what, you know, something would be tedious as fuck? A mania set. Like, one of the mania stages? Oh, good luck, bro. Oh, I mean, if we're doing, like... Iconic like sets like the Smackdown that. Fist. The, oh my god, the Smackdown Fist. Yes. Or like when they did like the Royal Rumble with like the big fucking doors and it was like very Royal yes. Rumble. And then you could have a little John Cena. HBK's Heartbreak Hotel was one of my first sets. Okay. Backlash uh. with the blades. <laughs> I'm trying to I'm think of what else. We could have so many. Who do I gotta talk to to like make this happen? Probably Lego. <sighs> let me talk. Let me talk to. Let me talk to Lego real quick. Be like, guys, I have a genius idea. Now you have to get WWE on board and AEW, but like, hear me out. <laughs> you gotta get some wrestling company on board. I think we had more for WWE, especially because they have the history. Like we said, like the barbershop, Piper's Pit, Undertaker's Urn. So, Undertaker's Urn, I still think would be dope. As well. Especially if you put ashes in there. Stop! They ain't gotta be yours. I, I don't want my ashes in there. That's why I said they don't gotta be yours. They ain't gotta be mine. Could be somebody else's. They could be secret no. ashes. They could be the ashes. Of Those ashes <laughs> could be a secret. That's what do you mean? Secret. Bro, what the fuck? Guys, she's, she's, she's going crazy over here. Uh, the old school raw letters from the early... Oh, oh yeah, like anything from the 90s. Um, uh, I just watched stuff from the 90s. The In Your House house set. I'm trying to think. Um... um, um, um. I can't think of anything else, and I'm kind of upset about that. I mean, we the list is as long. It's a long list. We got, we got some good ideas. Oh my god, we have so many good ideas. We can make the DX tank. Oh my god, yeah, the fucking tank. God, that's so smart. The tank. And God. Uh, while, while we're on tanks, Shotzi's tank. All the tanks. Yeah, all the tanks. <coughs> um, Shotzi's tank would actually be really cool. And, like, it actually fires. As it should. As it should. When Stone Cold got crucified, Jesus <laughs> Christ. Damn, okay, just I that think that's a good way to end. <laughs> Imagine that shit as Legos, though. Like, that whole scene. <laughs> like, dark web Legos. That'd be <laughs> so funny. I'm actually down. We should, I think that's... I honestly agree. I think that is a perfect place to end it, because we can go on and on about <clears throat> the amount of wrestling Legos we could create, and that should be things... That I'm just going to look into this and see what I got to do. Because like, if I just, can pitch this idea, just, like, I'm just, getting all of it. Just clip it. Clip like that. this entire section of the show and then send it to Lego and be like, bro, what are you waiting for? 
I mean, I could, I might realistically just like clip our Lego conversation and make that like a just a separate clip on YouTube. You should, cause I that'd be kind of fucking cool to see Legos. <sighs> be so cool. I want someone to like, cause I see like videos and shit all the time of people like making wrestlers into Legos and stuff. Like, I want someone to like fully do the shit that we're saying. Mm-hmm. <sighs> I want, I want it to happen. But thank you guys for hanging out with us for another late night showcase. <laughs> uh, we appreciate it. Yeah, I can't breathe. But Savannah, my dear, tell them where they can find you if you're working on anything. All that fun stuff. You can find me on Instagram and on Twitter at whitegrossy underscore. If there's no underscore, it's not me. Right now, I am working on staying alive. Staying alive. I'm just tired, guys. Um, I have photos I need to edit. I have videos I need to edit and film, so I'm just I'm a little. But... Well, she's also recovering from something that happened. Yes! Oh my god! How did I forget? Yeah, last week on Friday, I took my first bump. Yay! If you follow me on Instagram, you would have seen it. You should have seen. What'd you think, Katie? I it's not what I expected it to be, but like after you told me like how it was like going down, I was like, oh yeah, okay, she sold it very well. You thought I said, okay, thank you. That was honestly, she I was like, I need to make this look believable. She said, I'm dead. Yeah, some of the guys that weren't even there, they were, like, out of town trying to get into GCW. They're trying to get um booked on GCW. They went to, they drove all the way to Denver. I was like, Jeez. damn. I'm like, props to you guys. That's commitment. But um, they, 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 one of the guys texted me. He's like, you fucking died. It was beautiful. I was like, thanks. But, yeah, you guys... I, I took a bump. It wasn't just like a shove, but like kind of like the Triple H Stephanie kind of shove. It was a it was a pie face. Basically. Yeah, pie face. Yeah, that's that's what I took. I'm watching the clip now. One of the clips. I I hit my head, which I wasn't supposed to, but I was just like, all right, well, it happened. I gotta just believe it or not, my head like didn't hurt as long as my neck did. My neck was like, oh, like for most yeah. of the week, but I'm okay now. Yay! But you did it. That's all that matters. I have a feeling it might not be the last time because the general manager. I was, like, I was just going to say, you're taking more bumps, bitch. The general manager was like, you did so good. Like, it was great. And I'm like, yeah, this just tells me that's not going to be the last time. I'm like, all right, when am I going through a table, bro? It would be, it's it would be one the bump first, bump through a it table. Would, it would be the first time that a non wrestler in Pro Wrestling Legacy went through a table. So, Jesus. yeah, so I, I would not. I'd be, I'd be like a little excited, but also very scared. We'll see. Well, we gotta see what happens. Obviously, we gotta see what happens. But yeah, I yeah, took a bump. I took a pie face, guys. She, and she sold it like a champ, and she did great. Yeah. I knew you were gonna forget. That's why I ran up the very end. <laughs> I did forget. I forgot. I already forgot. Today was Wednesday. Like, luckily, I remembered. Like at seven thirty, I was like, "Oh shit, we have the show." So I was like. I know. This was my idea, and I forgot. I was just about to say, this was your idea, child. Hold on. This whole operation was your idea. From Star Wars? Star Wars, anyone? Star Wars? I, 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 have, I, have, I have partaken the Star Wars. Hold on. This whole operation was your idea. Yeah, it was. That was me. I love a good Star Wars. Haley? Um... <laughs> God. But you know, you can follow me on Twitter, Katie Rasmus 13. Link to your browser, get all things She Leads Showcase. Twitch.tv slash She Leads Showcase. Oh, fuck. I know. I was like, I just motioned to know. There we go. I forget that I can do that sometimes. Uh, and then YouTube.com slash She Leads Showcase. Uh, typically Thursdays, 6 p.m., 6 15 ish. Ish. I'm the ish, guys. All right. EST time. Um, what are we discussing? Um, the end of our show, but wrestling is what we were discussing. Omari. Um, Patreon.com slash you let showcase. If you want to support your girls that way, go ahead. We appreciate it. She did showcase.com. Support your girls that way. Buy some merch. A little bit of monies. A little bit of monies. Um, let's see what's happening this weekend. Smacking it raw. Y'all know. Maybe Getting off. Trick or trivia. Round two. I like that. Let's see who's joining your girl in the finals in December. Uh, will the advocate advance? Stay tuned. 
We'll find out next we'll time. We'll find out next time. Uh, and I will be going getting off. Or not getting off. Uh, Apron Bump on Wednesday. So be sure to check that out as well. Okay. It was a time. It was fun. It was very fun. I love, I love talking to Kyle. He's hysterical. Um, but thanks, everybody, for hanging out with us, sticking around. People for the dancing. late night. It's late, late night. Again. Um, we, it's you late know, again. that's why I did this, that. It's still going to be up, uh, same time as it normally is. Oh, and I'm on a, I would do a wrestling show on Sunday, so I'm going to have a vlog up tomorrow, too. Hey, okay, Katie. Oh, it was, it was a fun show. Uh, I got to see Tyler Breeze wrestle live for was the first time ever. Show? Yeah. Look, I'm just saying, not just because I work for them now, but indie wrestling, man, like, I never saw the hype until I started going. It's, it's, I, like, it's try, I try to go to this one as much as I can, but, like, they always end up having shows, like, while I'm doing something else. Yeah, that, that's fair. And, like, sometimes, like, you know, I get it. But, like, for me, it's just, like, every Friday, and it's not that far from, well, it is kind of far from home, but not that far from home. <laughs> Yeah, like they're doing a show tomorrow. Or I keep thinking it's Thursday, Friday at like the tattoo convention at like seven thirty. But like I work until four, and like I'm not gonna be in the mood to like go. No, yeah, I get you. Oof, I can and then like buy a ticket to go to that just to like see that. So, uh, but on Sunday it was like the biggest show they've done so far, mm-hmm. and like Willow Nightingale's there. Damn. Okay. And love it. Shout out to Enjoy Wrestling. It's gonna be a quick little vlog, but. It was good. It was fun. So that'll be up tomorrow uh, as well. And like I said, you follow me on Twitter. You get notified when we post shit on YouTube. You will know. You know? But, again, thank you guys so much for hanging out. We really appreciate it. Until next time. Bye-bye.